We hear that when you grew up, your family, your father specifically, loved to watch horror movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he loved, loved horror movies. And um, as a result, my sister and I watched horror movies from a very, very young age. Um, we were obsessed as very little kids with a movie called Silver Bullet. I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's where a priest turns into a werewolf. And um, it's a Corey Haim classic. Um, but it's actually so scary. It's based on a Stephen King thing. And we also very young. I feel like maybe it must have been on regular TV in some way because we didn't have cable. But I remember being like eight and seeing The Shining. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> and for for years, like images sticking in my head and the scariest parts being like, not necessarily when, you know, a crazy person is chasing his wife with an ax, but the scariest stuff to me was uh, like the glimpses you would get in the rooms as the kid rode down the hallway, as Danny Torrance rode down the hallway on his three-wheeler, you'd like look in and there'd be somebody like in a rabbit suit or you'd like look in another <laughs> room and those little girls would be there. Like those, little those girls, things yeah. sort of messed with my head. Yeah, so I was uh, sort of obsessed with psychological horror from a very young age. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> the, yeah. Behind all the humor, there's always something terrifying, which I love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which, you know, it's it's a weird thing now because horror movies to me now feel, um, mm, they feel like delicious and cozy and like, oh God, yeah, let's get a blanket and some popcorn and like really get cozy with a horror movie. And my husband hates them. They're like immediate, immediate bad dreams for him, like a direct line from watching the movie to that night, he will have bad dreams about that movie which is mind blowing yeah. to me. I can't even fathom like it being That's, that much of a linear route. 